Hi, I'm Lester Munson, Chairman of the Board of Trustees at the nonprofit Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation, the nation's leading force of healing and hope for individuals, families, and communities affected by the disease of addiction. I am at our treatment center on North Dearborn Street in downtown Chicago, my hometown, and also the birthplace of First Lady Betty Ford. Today, I am thrilled to introduce the next chapter in our organization's rich 72-year history. Over the past 13 years, Hazelden Betty Ford has doubled the number of people we serve to 25,000 annually, thanks to the leadership of Mark Mishik, who has transformed our organization into a growing force within the healthcare industry. Now, with Mark retiring soon, it is time to transition to a new CEO who will lead us into the future. I am delighted to announce that Dr. Joseph Lee has been promoted and on June 28th will become the eighth president and CEO of the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation. At that time, he will also become the president of the Hazelden Betty Ford Graduate School of Addiction Studies. Dr. Lee, who has been the medical director for Hazelden Betty Ford's Youth Continuum since 2010, is a superb example of the incredible talent we are cultivating inside our organization. He also represents a number of important firsts for Hazelden Betty Ford. As an experienced addiction medicine doctor and child and adolescent psychiatrist, he will become our first physician CEO. A naturalized U.S. citizen whose parents immigrated from Seoul, South Korea, Dr. Lee will also be our organization's first non-white CEO. And finally, at age 45, Dr. Lee will be the youngest CEO in our organization's history. Beyond those unique attributes and his impressive academic and professional resume, Dr. Lee is, first and foremost, a leader and a healer. Humility, empathy, grace, and love. These are the values to which he aspires and that he has brought to our organization and to his many years of working with adolescents, young adults, and their families. My colleague on our board, Susan Ford Bales, says it well. Dr. Lee truly embodies the healing spirit of recovery. At Hazelden Betty Ford, Dr. Lee has also been a significant driver of innovation, clinical excellence, patient-centered care, and ethical values-based leadership. He is a gifted communicator and a powerful advocate for the organization and the people we serve. On the heels of Mark Mishik's extraordinary contributions, Dr. Lee is the ideal leader to guide us into a new frontier of healthcare excellence, to lift up new voices, and to broaden the banner of the organization's reach, influence, and impact. I could talk much longer about Dr. Lee and how excited we are about the future, but it would be better if you hear from him directly. Without further ado, the next president and CEO of the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation, Dr. Joseph Lee. Thank you, Lester. Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Lee, and it is my profound honor to be entrusted with guiding Hazelden Betty Ford into the future as its next president and CEO. For decades, our organization has been a force of healing and hope, providing compassionate care and education, and also standing up and speaking out for those who need help. Thanks to pioneers like Betty Ford, we have, perhaps more than any other institution, set the stage for confronting stigma and treating addiction as a chronic disease. Carrying forward that legacy is our awesome responsibility. I'm humbled by it. And like millions of people around the world, I'm also inspired by it. Under the guidance of Mark Mishik and our board, who have transformed Hazelden Betty Ford into a growing force within healthcare, we've been able to connect our past to our future by integrating science, research, and medicine 
with timeless human wisdom and values and the healing spirit of recovery. Looking ahead, our future includes you. Collaboration will be key as we aspire to broaden our banner, reach more people, and meet patients and families where they are, both in their healing journey and quite literally where they live, work, and move about. The more we can provide quality services that intersect with the daily lives of the people who need them and enable more frequent engagement with our care and support, the closer we'll be to reversing today's tragic trends. Prior to COVID-19, our nation faced one of the worst addiction and mental health crises in our lifetime, perhaps ever. Now, we are seeing the added toll of the pandemic, which will leave in its wake an America that is suffering even more. We are all affected. And yet, we live in a world where substance use and mental health disorders, though common, are still stigmatized and marginalized. Not just on a personal level, but at the financial and institutional levels as well, in ways that make it harder for people to get the help they deserve. That is not a status quo that we can tolerate. And we will continue to confront the stigma of addiction in all of its forms. In order to achieve these goals, we must lift up more voices, reach new communities, and make long-term investments in our journey toward greater diversity, equity, and inclusion. We know expanding access to services will also require innovation, advocacy, and collaboration. And we are ready, stronger and healthier and more committed than ever. This past year has been illuminating, despite the tragedies. There are silver linings. The historic emergence of virtual care is a prime example that will benefit people for years to come. But that's just the beginning. More than anything, I hope we have gained perspective. I hope society never forgets how important human connection is, how love, like science, can heal people, and how the absence of that connection can cause despair. As we begin the transition to our next era at Hazelden Betty Ford, I am energized, inspired, and I am grateful to all those who share our mission. Together, we have momentous work ahead to help the nation recover from COVID-19 and its impact on our collective well-being. Thank you for your support, your collaboration, and most importantly, your compassion for the people whose lives are affected by addiction and mental health conditions. I humbly invite you to partner with us at Hazelden Betty Ford in whatever capacity you can. Together, we can restore connection and hope and amplify our mission of love. <laughs>